everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are going to try this technique that Johnny Farrow came up with, that is Mixed Media Girl's husband. It was super cool when they did it, so they wanted people to try it, and lo and behold, I actually had skewers in the kitchen. Don't know where those came from. Um, and obviously, I had a toilet paper roll kind of a necessity in today's society for most of us. <laughs> um, I already got these sticks already punched in here so I just wanted to even them out when putting them through it's hard to have them even so I had them all kind of on one side so it was a little bit easier to try to navigate. Um, I did try to pay attention to where I was putting them to make a pretty cool design on the inside there. And it actually looks like it's going to stand pretty well, so I'm excited about that. Uh, the colors we're using today is black, light blue that I make. Well, the rest I mix. Light blue, purple, and pink. These four are all Artist Law Flow acrylic mixed with Floetrol and water. These three I mixed myself. So light blue is white and blue. Purple is red and blue. Pink is white and red. Uh, and then we also have copper from Liquitex. Same mixture, Floetrol and water. I may say bronze later in the video. It is, in fact, copper. I'm not going to put a ton of black in it, but I think I measured this only holds about six ounces, so if I need it, I may pour it on the outside just to make sure we get full coverage. So now I will pour these paints in here and see what kind of craziness we get. I think I'll start with the light blue. I don't know if I should try to hold it or not, because it seems like it's gonna hold up and I'm afraid that me holding it is more likely to move it <laughs> than it moving on its own. Yeah, it is coming out the bottom, so I will try to hold it to the best of my abilities. This is a paint, this painting I am pouring over, it, I don't even remember which one it is at this point, but it was one I didn't like, and so I spray painted it white and so we can use it again. Actually put the purple next to the blue. And then some pink. And then some more Copper. We've got it right up to the top here. And now we will slowly remove these. I was going to leave them just kind of half in like this. Because um, it would obviously be a little bit easier to remove. But it made it lopsided. So I couldn't really do that. I am going to remove the top ones first. So that hopefully we get some paint oozing out from the top and not just at all oozing out from the bottom. There's actually nothing oozing out from that first skewer, so hopefully some of these will work better. There we go. Got a little bit of a drip there. Maybe she used special skewers. These are just ones out of my kitchen. I'm sure we would use them for, you know, grilling or something. super slow. Is that one working on that side? Yeah, a little bit. This one over here on my side from that last one I just pulled out is actually a little bit faster. But it appears that's where the black was. <laughs> so there we go. Now we've got some some business going. Keep trying to pull them out while not lifting from the bottom. Yep, yeah that worked. <laughs> It'll still make some pretty cool designs. I'm not too terribly worried about it. I think me removing this last one is actually just going to make a really cool design in the actual paint. Because it's kind of dragging the paint through. And now we shall wait. Oh, 
hopefully you can see something happening here. It's actually really pretty cool. But we still have like paint up to like here maybe. tilt while it drains. Definitely a Halloween vibe out of this. I wonder if there's just not enough like pull, like gravity. I don't think it's doing anything now. I really don't want to just lift it because all of that will just end up in the middle. Let me see if I try to tilt. Also secretly hoping that some of the paint will like come out of the holes as I'm tilting. This will also make a cool design as it has to kind of navigate around. All right. Gonna tilt. Okay. All right. I do kind of like the circle, so I'm gonna try my hardest to maintain it. Lots of cells in this. I really like how that, how this technique creates these patterns, these tree ring lines and these cells. Okay. It's no longer a circle, but it's a really cool jellyfish. <laughs> I'm not sure it's a jellyfish anymore, but it's still really cool. All right. And look at all these cool skins that we'll get out of this. I will link her video in the description below. So definitely go check them out. She's done it actually a couple of times and they turn out stellar each time. I love this so much. I'm gonna get rid of that right there. I'm gonna get rid of a little bit more of this blue at the top. And now I am completely happy with it. Let me torch it and then I will bring you in for a close up. We'll start in the lower left. We've got like the light blues and purples and then cells of black with the copper <laughs> i know it kind of looks gold it's copper and then some of the copper cells actually have like little pink rings around them i don't know they look super crazy cool maybe that's why it looks gold is it the pink kind of mix in with it and then the purple cells through here and then we've got some of these like kind of tree ring-esque designs from the holes this would have been this pink purple the light blue outside ring is the middle which is that circle that it left but it's all stretched out now some more copper up there some more like sea of little gold cells another little tree ring shape in the lower right corner so absolutely so cool let me show you a close-up of this the puddle the puddles are just beautiful which will make some beautiful jewelry in the future so let me know what you think about this technique. I think it was pretty much a success. So I do want to give a huge shout out to Marcy, Mixed Media Girl. Thank you so much. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Go check out her channel and do what makes you happy.